All right, it's been a few weeks since I've done a video because I've been super busy and I need something to break the ice. So I'm not gonna do something too complicated just to get something going. Now, what I have here is a DYS 4-in-1. This is their newest one. And the reason I got this is mainly because of the BEC. Now, let me explain. First of all, let's open it up and see what we got here. It comes with some standoffs, like a lot of the um, 4-in-1s. It comes with a pigtail, which is kind of cool, except for the fact that this is a 20 amp ESC. And for a 20 amp, I think that 14 gauge is too thick. So I'm probably gonna take this off and put it on another quad and put something a little bit um, thinner, maybe 16 gauge, maybe even 18, I'll, I'll think about it. But anyway, another thing I don't like, well, I like that, I just don't like the thickness, but I don't like the fact that these cables are what seems to be PVC. They're nice, not nice silicone like some of the other foreign ones that I have. But I'll just have to use them and be um, careful when I'm soldering. Another thing is uh, that I, I do like the fact that they're actually labeled. I see all these little tags on it. It says what they are, which is kind of cool. So it's just a matter of being careful when I solder them so that I don't melt the, the insulation. Okay, so the, the ESC itself. Things that I like and I don't like. I think the idea of the conformal coating already on it is kind of cool. In my opinion, I'd rather not. I have my own bottle and I'd rather apply it later. And the reason is I kind of hate uh, soldering through uh, the conformal coating just because I hate the smell and it gets kind of gooey. But it's okay. It's cool that they actually tried uh, doing something different that nobody that I know is doing before. It's done before, actually coated. And for the people that wouldn't bother coating it anyway, it's kind of good for them because it protects the board. It is a little tall. You can see there, those um, connectors make it a little tall. I think it's eight millimeters tall versus six, which are on some other foreign ones like a Sakata that I had lying around. So let's find out. This is measuring the board and this which I mean the connectors so yeah it's about I left a gap there because there's some stuff over here so yeah it's about eight uh, eight millimeters tall yeah <clears throat> so it means it is 36 by 36 by 8 with a standard hole pattern <clears throat> but even though it's kind of tall it should fit just fine it's not bad at all um, anyway, the main reason I got this one is because of the BEC. A lot of these uh, foreign ones don't come with a BEC, and the ones that do, the BEC is low, maybe one amp at the most. I actually want to drive an X-Racer F303 with it, but more importantly, I want to drive a TBS Unify V2 5 volt, which at 800 milliwatts pulls around, I think, 600 milliamps. The point is that a lot of these BECs that claim to do one amp or 1.5, when you actually have them continuous and they're low, they're a lot less efficient. But this one claims it does three amps. So three amps, I believe it should uh, be used to, part of it should be used to run the, the ESC itself. But given that it's high at three amps compared to a lot of the other ones, it should hopefully have enough headroom to drive the FC, which maybe does eight, I mean, 80 or 60 milliamp. The camera, which I might end up running a straight to uh, the VBAT, but more importantly, that TBS Unify. So in my estimation, I should be driving about one full amp of, um, of you know, of, of power. But with the three amp, it should hopefully give me enough head. If it not, if it doesn't and I burn it out, well, I'm down 40 bucks. It's not that expensive. I don't want to lose the money, but I'm willing to test it because the copter I'm putting this on, which is a Horus Slipstream 3, is very tight build. So this will help me save a lot of space. So yeah, there we have it. This is the DYS 4-in-1 BL Hell Yes. Oh, by the way, this is D-Shot out of the box. No modding needed. All right, that's it. Let's wrap it up.